provide investment services in your community. For over a century, families across America have turned to A.G. Edwards for sound investment advice. We are proud to sponsor Behind the Badge. We all have a responsibility to reduce the level of crime in our community. Help support your local police in their efforts to make our city safe for your family and ours. Introducing the Oldsmobile 88 Royale LS, totally re-engineered with a more powerful yet fuel-efficient engine, electronically controlled transmission, anti-lock brakes, and a driver's side airbag. And we even made it easier for you to get one today, because now there's 2.9 APR financing for up to 48 months on any 9288 Royale. Oldsmobile, discover the power of intelligent engineering. Get 2.9% financing at your local old quality team dealer. On November 5th, you have a responsibility to vote for the candidates of your choice. Polls open at 6 a.m. and close at 9 p.m. And then when the polls close, join the Eyewitness News team for the first local election coverage. We'll have updates throughout the evening and beginning at 10 o'clock. We'll have complete election results, complete with live interviews and political analysis. I hope you'll join us. On election night, the team to watch is the Eyewitness News team. Live coverage starting at 10 p.m. on WUTR-TV. Trigger squeeze should be one fluid motion. You stroke that trigger. One constant stroke. In a combat situation, you may have to bring it up and stroke it a little bit faster. In a long range shot, you take your time, squeeze the trigger, and one fluid motion. You can change the speed of the, the trigger squeeze at any time, but do not stage the trigger. In other words, bring it back a small amount each time. This is probably the most important training an officer will receive. Knowing what to do with a weapon could be the difference between life and death. The Utica Police Department places heavy emphasis on weapons training. To put officers in situations that they may encounter themselves throughout their duties. And throughout these duties, we try to show them with always keep in mind officer safety, concealment, cover, how to take certain things that we take for granted every day on the street and how we can use that to our best advantage. From as you've seen, from mailboxes to fire hydrants to curbing. So we try to instill that in our training with our police officers. Depending on the situation an officer is in will depend on what type of firepower he or she needs certain instances when a shotgun is needed rather than a pistol. For the shotgun, he has to keep in mind that he has two different types of ammunition available to him. What we have is a standard slug and also the nine pellet BB. And we give them extensive training into the use of both and we emphasize the success rate for each one. And when the officer leaves this range, he's well versed and he knows his capability with both the BB and the slug. Two good slug hits here. All these are BB hits from the buckshot. Excellent. Very good. Before a police officer can carry a weapon, he or she must qualify on the screen. Utica's weapon training course is a vigorous one, very comprehensive. They believe what the officers do here on this course will mirror what happens in a combat situation on the street. Any training that's instilled with a police officer, if he's ever involved in any type of shooting situation, all the studies show that he reacts back to what he's been trained to do. So if we can train them in a very progressive, aggressive manner with keeping in mind their safety and the safety of the citizens of the community, we're going to have a very well-trained, well-rounded police department. The line is ready! If you've ever wondered why a policeman needs to carry a weapon, just take a look at the tools of crime. These weapons, confiscated by the Special Investigations Unit, are only a small percentage of the weapons taken off the streets of Utica. 
Everything from automatic weapons to homemade shotguns with sawed-off barrels. Most of these weapons were taken in drug-related crimes and are designed to take out groups of people in seconds. Most are unregistered guns that come from the New York City area. In uh, the last couple of years, we've seen more and more of uh, the automatic weapons, uh, the 9mm full automatic weapons that are easily concealed and, uh, and they can spray uh, large amounts of bullets in a short period of time. And uh, we're seeing more and more of these things. This is a Glock 9mm semi-automatic pistol. It's similar to the weapon used in Killeen, Texas last month, in which scores of people were slaughtered in the worst shooting massacre in U.S. history. A lot of these are made out of uh, materials that uh, are new, stronger, lighter weight materials that, uh, and, and some models, not this particular model, are even uh, hard to detect uh, by metal detection devices. Uh, naturally, the bullets uh, are, are picked up by the detectors, but uh, this particular model, and there's another one very similar, uh, an Austrian-made uh, Glock weapon. These are uh, very high-tech, very new, and uh, we're finding more and more of these things on the street. We would like to uh, see not even the amount of uh, shootings and uh, assaults and murders that we do have. Uh, we feel that uh, these are things that, uh, if it weren't for this drug problem and uh, for these drug-type uh, dealings and shootings, that we wouldn't have uh, uh, crimes of passion and, uh, for instance, uh, murders and assaults uh, that we're experiencing today. What would you say to someone who's thinking about coming to Utica, a drug dealer, thinking of setting up shop in Utica? What would be your advice to them? Well, when it comes to the drug dealers or anybody thinking about that uh, uh, type of uh, action in Utica, uh, they're not going to have an easy time here. Uh, our guys are sharp, they're on top of it, and uh, they won't operate here for long, that's for sure. And uh, I think if you look at the amount of arrests and the number of people that are in the United County Jail and in prison doing time now, serious time, uh, uh, that uh, Utica is not a place to set up to sell drugs, and you won't be successful here. When you size up your family for a new car, consider the new mid-size 92 Olds Cutlass Supreme. Now with a downsized lease, only $279 a month and no money down. Sporty size for dad, large cargo size for gear, taxi size for mom, and four-door size for kids. Big size value at a downsized lease, only $279 a month, no money down. Just the right size for your budget and your garage. Try a new 92 Cutlass Supreme on for size at your local old quality team dealer. I'm Bruce Ball, branch manager of the A.G. Edwards office here in Utica. And these people are the A.G. Edwards family who provide investment services in your community. For over a century, families across America have turned to A.G. Edwards for sound investment advice. We are proud to sponsor Behind the Badge. We all have a responsibility to reduce the level of crime in our community. Help support your local police in their efforts to make our city safe for your family and ours. It's Saturday night in downtown Utica, and the bars are letting out. Disorderly groups are very common at this time of the night.
has been and still is a trouble spot for police. After a night of drinking, onlookers empty out into the streets. And police work frantically to get the crowd moving along before tempers flare again. This is not an easy group to move. Why they ain't take nobody to jail there? When they kill Oh, okay. Now you can't answer that one. You can't answer that one. Hold up. Why? Why? Why they ain't kill nobody when they... Why they ain't take nobody when they kill nobody? Where did you know that? Where did you know that? I want to get on camera. Talk shit about y'all, mama. Right charge. Yeah, it seemed to be that there was only a small portion of these people that are really troublemakers. And the rest of them were just out to watch the troublemakers make trouble. Uh, as soon as we were able to get across to the troublemakers that they're not going to be able to make their trouble anymore, uh, that pretty much uh, took care of everything. And those that normally went about their business, uh, instead of congregating around, they went about their business and uh, realized that uh, there's no, no show to watch anymore. And also, uh, the tactical unit being out at the hours that they are, um, in most cases, were closer when something did happen, and something did occur, and they were able to respond quicker, and in most cases, that in itself led to an arrest, because the perpetrator may not have been able to have time enough to get away, so that much more apprehensions were made much quicker. The actual feeling and the actual experience is developed by being on the street and uh, dealing with people who are sometimes hard to deal with and uh, you have to use creative uh, abilities and uh, you have to be of a certain nature. That's why everybody isn't cut out to be a police officer. It's, uh, it's a demanding and sometimes a stressful job. What is this? Just relax, go in the house. I want to tell you how to do the police job. Okay. Call us tomorrow. Come on, you know what? Oh, that's all I know. He's all good. He's good. He's good. He's good. What's his name? I want to know his name. I want to know his name. He's sleeping. I want to know his name. Sarge. What's your name? He's snoring away over there. I want to know your name. We'll see you later. Have your No, I want to know your name. Officer Snow. I want to know your name. Officer Snow. All right. No, wait, hey, what the f are you doing for the f***ing guy? What were you doing for the f***ing guy? I'm not to get here. What were you doing for the f***ing guy? What were you doing for? What were you doing for? 
He's not dying, he's fine. As far as I know, he was riding with an individual, according to witnesses, and the witnesses state that his friend was he was riding with at the time, stopped his bike, got off, grabbed a plate from the other bike, and then left the area to call for medical assistance. Um, his friend never came back to the scene. Noticed the, the bike was and then it embedded into the rear end of the truck. And we, at that time, we called for uh, medical assistance, rescue one in the Conco. They responded a few minutes later, and they, you know, they did the procedures on him.
He, he attempted to touch him. I didn't want him to touch him. You know, that's the worst thing you can do in an accident like that, especially with the severe injuries. You know, I noted to the guy to step back several times. He was a little intoxicated at the time. So you have to deal with that as it comes along. Well, what you can do, yeah, go over to Trinidad and see if you can find it in Dallas. I know. I know we're on. I can try and man his ass, too. I know his girlfriend is over there. If you can't locate him, then take him right up to the hospital to see if you can find him. Well, I want to get a look at him now that I know who it is. Yeah. Well, see if he's over on Trinidad. He could have been the other kid on the bike, too. Right. Yeah. All right. His friend gave him a dealer plate, put it on the motorcycle at the time. So the bike, according to v &T was legal at the time. For him leaving the scene, that's where we were questioning his friend's actions at the time. It's very real out there. It's not like uh, watching something on TV. And, and like I say, they have to be trained and prepared for it. And it's a, a job that uh, takes skill and youthful uh, uh, courage and so forth to handle. Yes, because, uh, like I say, the major premise is it's a, a flexible group of uh, fellows that are working together all the time. And uh, in order to have any officers working in the forefront of the criminal activity like this, uh, not to put down the uniform squads, uh, but at these hours at night, and uh, to be able to uh, be at the forefront like that, uh, with the weapons that are involved and the number of weapons, uh, you have to have a very cohesive group of fellows working together that can think of, uh, with one another and for one another and be able to uh, do the job and, and keep each other safe and uh, fortunately for us we, uh, we've been able to do that. Uh, we haven't had any uh, officers shot or seriously injured um, since we started here, which we're all very thankful of. of intelligent engineering from Oldsmobile is demonstrated in two powerful statistics. One, 96% of all Olds Cutlass Sierras ever built are still on the road. Two, you can now own one for only $13,390 with $1,000 Olds cash back. V6 engine, air, automatic, and rear defogger, all for $13,390. Big size value, family size room at a downsized price. Try one on for size, the new 92 Olds Cutlass Sierra at your local Olds quality team dealer. I'm Bruce Ball, branch manager of the A.G. Edwards office here in Utica. And these people are the A.G. Edwards family who provide investment services in your community. For over a century, families across America have turned to A.G. Edwards for sound investment advice. We are proud to sponsor Behind the Badge. We all have a responsibility to reduce the level of crime in our community. Help support your local police in their efforts to make our city safe for your family and ours. An ABC miniseries. What happened? I have a warrant for your arrest. She was accused of murder. Ah, I didn't do anything. But what they did to her was a crime. I'm never going to get out of here. Based on the gripping true story. I can't be in here for 18 months. Donna Mills and Robert Wagner. Wait, you destroyed go. my life! False arrest. Here for you on WUTR-TV. Well, it's certainly not your everyday nine-to-five job. Police work can sometimes be a very difficult task, as we all witness tonight. In fact, uh, law enforcement is having its share of problems everywhere. Larger cities like Los Angeles, Chicago, or even New York, those areas have a trickle-down effect on some of the smaller urban areas like the city of Utica. For example, 20 to 25 years ago, you might get a gun call once every six months in Utica. Today, not the case at all. It's a daily occurrence. But as times change, so do the police. They press forward to maintain law and order. We hope you've enjoyed our special presentation tonight behind the badge in Utica. We thank you for joining us. Good night.